So in today's video, we go to two charity shops. The first one, I'm gonna bring you along with me, but actually I arrived there 10 minutes before closing. So it was a real quick in and out, pressurized. What can I buy in that 10 minutes to see how much money I can make? The second one is a bit more casual and it's back to my favorite charity shop. So hopefully I'll pick some good stuff up there, but we've also got a fair few sales to show you. And I also had a lovely little package through the post. Enjoy. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller, and what I do is I buy stuff for cheap, sell it online for more, usually on eBay, but now starting to sell on Facebook Marketplace as well. And actually, after my last video, I've gone through all my stock and everything is pretty much listed, whether it be on Marketplace or on eBay. So it's time for me to go out and find some more. So let's hit the charity shops. So I just thought I'd pop down to the Council Research again, give it a second chance. Last time I was here, it was absolutely terrible. Let's see if it's any better. So let me just stop you there. As soon as I walked in through those doors, there was a guy stood there and he said, mate, shop closes at five, 10 minutes time, do you still want to come in? Challenge accepted. I used that 10 minutes to whip around that charity shop to see how much I could buy, what decent stuff I could find. The pressure was on because they shut those doors at five on the dot. So we'll turn on the time. Let's see how we go. Well, it's safe to say that was a lot better than expected. We've just been ushered out the shop because they've changed the opening times. They close at five, but 
pretty happy with what I picked up. Anyway, let's get back to the garage and see what I got. So I'm just back from the charity shop and that was frantic. I know that I was quick going around with the camera, so if I did miss anything and there probably are some bits and pieces, please leave a comment below. But also what made that difficult is because I couldn't spend much time there, I couldn't check sold listings. So again, I was going off my instincts. So straight in the door, didn't bother with the clothes, didn't bother with DVDs, didn't bother with books. I went straight to the computer game basket and I come home with six of them. The first three were these football manager games here. All of these have got the discs in. I did check as I was going through, do they have discs? Some of them didn't, so I just put the boxes back in the bin. So we've got three football managers and we've got two championship manager games there. And they have a deal on. If you buy five games, it costs you one pound, so 20 pence each. Sold listings on these individually, only a couple of quid each. So what I'll do is I'll bundle those football managers together, bundle those championship managers together, two listings, let's go for five pound each. If I can turn my pound into ten pounds, I'll be happy with that. But I also picked up this game. This one is called Delta Force Land Warrior, and this one cost me a pound. That is how it works. If you buy one, it costs you a pound. If you buy five, it costs you a pound. So I didn't have time because literally the rollers were coming down as she was scanning these through. So I couldn't go back and just pick up four random ones for free. So this cost me a pound. And yeah, it should sell for about two pounds. So I probably should have just left it really. But there you go. I thought I'd give it a punt. So that was the computer games. Once I'd have a good old rummage through that bin, I went to the children's section. I looked through the books, looked through the DVDs, and looked through the teddies. Nothing caught my eye except for that Olympic um, Olympic mascot uh, plush with the tags on and actually it's because I put that back in the shop and it's catching my eye again so I just had to leave that I had to let it go but after that it was onto the jigsaws and onto the board games and I can't come away from a charity shop without picking up a jigsaw but this one is not for resale this is for dad points only and I paid a pound for this and it's for my son and he's built it five times already he's he's well into his spider-man at the minute and into his jigsaw so you're not going to find a better jigsaw than that for him and actually I'm building up a collection of these 35 pieces so when my boys do grow out of them they'll all be bundled together straight up on Facebook marketplace see how see how much we get but the pick of the day and if you ever see these in the charity shop, just pick them up. It's a Jan Van Hasteren jigsaw. And through lockdown, I was selling these so regularly. I sold them for about £13 plus postage, and they were selling really, really quick too. Now this one, nice Olympic theme. My wife and I are going through and building it to make sure that all the pieces are there. And sold listings are a bit lower at the minute. They're more like £9 or £10. But £2 into £10. Got to be happy with that. So... For a quick 10 minutes in the charity shop, I've come away with some pretty decent things, I think. Oh, but when I got back as well, I had a lovely parcel waiting for me. So let me show you what arrived. So in some of the recent live chats, a few of you guys have asked me about the music behind my intro video. And the song we use is by this band, No Matter. And we're good friends with the bassist Catchlin. And No Matter are a Northern Irish based skate punk band. So if you think of all the songs off Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you know exactly the type of music. Um, but yeah, they've sent me through a really lovely care package. So Kat, thanks ever so much. And what came in it was this awesome t-shirt that I've had on for most of the video. But they've sent me through a few stickers and bits and pieces. And on the back of this sticker, it says to Ian, thank you so much for all of your support. It's awesome of you to help promote us. Hope we haven't ruined your purple shirt, Cat and the crew. And this is the purple shirt. They sent me this as well. This is so cool. It says two master of pieces. Thank you. And then they've each signed one of the one of the bones on the symbols there. So that is wicked. But not only that is they've sent me through this hoodie, which has got a real cool logo on the back, zip up front. We've got some pin badges as well. Who doesn't like pin badges? So guys, thanks ever so much. I really, really appreciate it. And what I'm just looking for here is, no matter are meant to be out on tour at the minute, but because of everything COVID, a lot of tours are being canceled and they were meant to be in Dublin really soon. And that has only just been canceled. So guys, they've sent me through this um, card here. If you give that a scan, that'll take you to their Spotify, um, their area on Spotify so you could check out some of the songs but I've also got their YouTube channel in my comments below so it would be great if you could go and check them out on YouTube give them a thumbs up and say hi from me it's totally worth it they are 
brilliant. And Kat, thanks ever so much for the care package. And guys, actually, I was going to reveal this whenever I hit a thousand subscribers because we're nearly, nearly there. So to make this a little bit less awkward, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And after you've done that, let's go to the charity shop. So because that trip to cancer research was so rushed, I fancied going to another charity shop and just enjoy it a bit more, take my time with it. So I'm back to my favorite one, Cerebral Palsy Cymru. Let's see what I can find in there. So that was a bit more of a relaxing charity shop trip and I picked up three things. The first of them is this 10th anniversary Medal of Honor PC game. It's got five or six different games in there and also the soundtrack to the games which is amazing. And I paid a pound for this and this will go for six to seven pounds plus postage. So pretty solid start. The next one I bought to resell, but I don't think it's worth much. I was looking at the wrong thing on sold listings, but I picked up this Cabris jigsaw puzzle, fruit and nut. I love the box. It actually looks like a bar of chocolate. It's amazing. And paid a pound for it. Resale value about two pounds. So not the worst thing in the world. Um, I will make my money back on it and we'll have a bit of fun doing it as well. But pick up of the day from that charity shop was this Hunger Games District 12 board game. And I paid £2.50 for this and resale value is going to be about £12 plus postage. I haven't checked if it's all there, but on the back it is sellotape. So it looks as if someone has gone through, gone through it to make sure it is there and taped it so nothing goes missing. I'm always going to double check though. Um, so yeah, that is pick up of the day. So a few items here which need listing. A few things from the earlier charity shop that needs listing. It's a good job we sold some bits, wasn't it? And we have sold a few things. We have sold four things in total. But before we get on to that, we have had our first Facebook Marketplace time waster on the wrestlers and the wrestling rings. So they messaged me saying they were interested in buying one ring and 15 figures. Um, I got them up for £30, so they offered me 20 So I said no. And they said, OK, how much do you want for the whole bundle of rings and wrestlers? So I thought, £100. If I get £100 from that, from the wrestlers I've sold, I'm already in 50 quid profit. So I take 100. So he said, OK, I'll give you 80 if I could come up today and collect it. And you know what? I said, yes. You know, it puts me in profit overall. Still got tons of wrestlers to sell. And he said, great, I'll message you after work. And that was three days ago. So unless he's had some industrial accident or maybe he just works really, really hard or he's wasted my time. Yeah. First waste of time waster for that um, for that wrestling bundle won't be the last either. But these are the four things that definitely have sold and all through eBay. And after knocking those Dungeons and Dragons books, we sold one today. This one's called Pathfinder Chronicles Dragons Revisited. And this one sold for £6 plus postage. So yeah, happy with that. Another £6 plus postage sale. We've got this wind up man there and I'm carrying some briefcases this is a french make i think it's jouet en fur can't read that but yeah still in all the packaging this went um global shipping program over to belgium six pounds plus postage and that comes part of the stock exchange that one so that's cool we have a magic card sale this one here it's called shadowborn apostle this one is only a common card so it's not just your rares or uncommons that are worth selling. This is a common card and it's just really good to use in the game. That one sold for £4 free posted. And the final sale was actually four listings. The lady bought all four combined postage. I've got no more Warhammer left. She's cleared me out of all of my Warhammer. But this was the tail end of it all. So most of these are unpainted. You've got a few Lord of the Rings bits in here. A few broken Eldar Warhammer 40k pieces. That sold for £20 plus postage. And she actually said, I don't want any fancy, fancy wrapping. Just send me them kind of as basic as possible. She doesn't want to open them all when she gets to the other end. So that's pretty basic. I'm still going to put it in some bubble wrap. I think that maybe she's a customizer. So she might break these up and maybe make some custom things. Don't know. But £20 plus postage. Please with that. And, you know, sales are back on track i think that we were spoiled a bit through um through the whole lockdown with people spending more and buying more and we've gone back to more normal sales and one or two sales a day was normal for me pre-lockdown so i'm definitely back at that again but 
at least things are selling. So guys, thanks ever so much for watching the video. Like I said earlier, hit that like, hit that subscribe because we're so close to a thousand and I can't wait to get there. It would be amazing. Um, but as always, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Team Pieces. Thanks ever so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.